Shema was only six when she lost her leg, injured in the early years of a war that's been fought for most of her young life. I was playing with a boy and while we were walking, the shell hit us. I didn't feel anything until the next day when I found myself in the hospital. I tried to reach for my leg and I asked my father, where is my leg? He told me that I'd been injured. So I asked him, so from today onwards, I will live without a leg. But Shema was lucky. The child next door she had been playing with was killed. Her father encouraged her to focus on what remained, not what was lost. Ali Ahmad complains that aid groups often overlook parts of Yemen. Some organizations do not include this area in their aid handouts at all. The residential part of the city is in the line of fire, and no aid has entered for a while. Houthi rebels took control of the capital Sana'a in 2014, forcing the government into exile. The conflict widened when a Saudi-led coalition invaded in 2015, with the stated purpose of restoring the internationally recognized government to power. Despite its proximity to the fighting, Ali Ahmad says he chose to stay because Taiz is his home. His daughter's lifelong injury, forever a reminder of the cost. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera.